Hey guys, Slash Movies 410 back again with another video, and I got an unbagging for you here today. Um, it's just one mask, so um, yeah, it's nothing too special, and it wasn't too expensive either, so yeah, I guess I'll get right into it. I don't know why they put in such a huge bag, but whatever. Um, I'll balance the camera over here, and I'll get right into it. Balance. Focus. There we go. So yeah, I guess I'll just it up. So here it is, as you can see, it's a Leatherface mask. I'm pretty sure this mask is based off the remake, the 2003 remake. Here's the tag right here. Um, originally I was going to get the remake mask, but the full over the head latex one. But um, yeah, I just did this in order to save money, so I just decided to get this one. It was only 15 bucks, yeah, but this thing's really nice. And the hair's on it, the hair that's on it is pretty nice as well. So yeah, um, now I'll just do a quick review, so just give me a moment. Okay guys, I have 9% on my phone, so I'm just going to film this as quick as possible. But uh, anyways, um, there's nothing really much to talk about. This mask is very, very nice. Um, I definitely recommend getting it if you're on a budget and you just want a leather face mask in general. Uh, this one's the one to get, but if, you're on, if you um, have a lot of money and you want to get a more accurate one, from this movie, definitely go with the the full over the head latex one. Uh, you could probably get them on Amazon. You could probably get them on like any other website. So, yeah. Um, but th this mat, this particular mask, for some reason, reminds me of the Part One mask from the original. Probably has to do with the tan coloring on it. Uh, that could be a reason, and also the teeth, how the teeth are showing. Um, but anyways, this is pretty nice. The the hair's uh. Kind of crazy, but it wasn't in the movie. Actually, no. It was more like slick back in the movie. Um, so I guess I'll fix that. I guess I'll fix the hair up. We'll see. Um, sorry, let me get this to focus. But other than that, this mask is pretty nice. Um, it ha includes a hairnet, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say about it. I do recommend it once again. Um, so yeah, that's my video guys. Sorry it was really quick, but there's, as I said a million times, there's nothing much to talk about. It's just a great looking mask. Um, wouldn't say it's the best or the most accurate, but, um, it's good. Hey guys, sorry, my phone just died. I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. Um, but anyways, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Um, overall, this is a really nice mask. Uh, the hair definitely needs some work. I'll be styling it and stuff and getting it looking nice. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, so this is my second leather face mask in my collection. As you can see, this is the one from Texas Chainsaw 3D. And now I got the remake mask, and I definitely plan on getting more leather face masks. Um, the next two I plan on getting are the Trick or Treat Studios ones, the main killer mask from the first movie, as well as the pretty woman mask. Um, so yeah, I'm eyeing to get those two. Probably sometime, sometime around summer, we'll see. So... That's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later with some more videos.